I think it's okay. There's no one around. It's great working with Sean. Um, he's a great character. He's full of personality, full of adventure, lots of ideas. Has a habit of causing quite a lot of trouble, but his kind nature means he's going to uh, always try and fix that with the help of his uh, flock. It's a, it's a delight for me. I love Sean because uh, he reminds me of myself when I was about 10 or 12 years old. Uh, it was a boy that tried to push the boundaries and tried to have a more exciting life than he had. Uh, so he's great, yeah. Sean the sheep and his flock know every trick <laughs> to having a good time. <laughs> Sean and Bitsa and the, the rest of the sheep tend to have the daily grind. They get stuck in a rut on the farm and everyone starts to get a bit down about the situation. So Sean hatches a plan to get a day off. Um, that plan goes slightly wrong and ends up taking everyone from the farm into the big city. In 2015, move on Ooh. to pastures new. The farmer, I think, is completely oblivious to whatever Sean does. He sort of got Bitzer in charge as his manager to look after the sheep. Um, but Sean very much, I think, sees him as a father figure. And in this case, they get used to each other a little bit too much, get bored with each other. And then it's not until later on in the film that they realise, actually, it is one big happy family. Bah, bah, bah. Bah, 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 bah. He spends a lot of time being really annoyed with Sean because uh, Sean made, made the farmer disappear and, and Bitzer has to go and get him back. But uh, in doing so, he gets himself into trouble as well. So Sean's not in his good books. But things can get out of control very quickly. <laughs> I'm just not allowed to say I'd get in so much trouble with him and his agent as well. So. Uh, Sean does do all his own stunts. Um, he's got a few people that help him out with that. But yeah, whenever you see him in danger, whenever you think he's uh, about to fall off a cliff, then it is Sean. Absolutely, I think uh, you've got every uh, possibility. There's, there's, lots of, there's lots of room in the, in the film industry for more sheep. I think if you want to be like Sean, you've got a lovely smile, that helps. Can you do sad as well? Yeah, that's good. Having lots of emotions is good. If you want to be animated, you have to learn to stand very, very still and only move when an animator touches you. Now keep your eyes still. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good. Good. <laughs> I think that works well. Absolutely, I think they're much. Uh, they they be. They make terrific movie stars. I think you would too. I think it's because he's he is so kind. He's lovable. He's very cute. Uh, he's friendly. He looks after his his immediate family, the flock, and Bitsa. He does. His uh, his his new friend is a is a little dog called Slip, who's who's kind of like an orphan dog that he meets in the city. And um, the bad guy, he would call Trumper, who's an uh, uh, animal containment officer, so he catches stray animals. To stay out of trouble, they need to think fast. I don't know about that. I think Sean, um, in the TV series, if we look at the TV series, he's had many adventures involving aliens, going to towns, being locked in places. I think it's set up so that Sean can go anywhere and do anything. Learn to love what you've got. Uh, be, be, more, be more thankful for what you have. 
because Sean thinks the grass is greener on the other side, but in fact it's not, and he learns to appreciate his family more. Sheep, the movie. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see that one. <laughs> cool, thank you very much. That's brilliant. brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can I get a copy of that one? <laughs>